Welcome back to Drink My Friends. Today's episode, we are going to be talking about Prideful Goat. The Prideful Goat, yeah. So in, in the order of... I am going to do the honors of letting you open this. Well, I'll get there, and then you can do the pop into the microphone. Make sure you, make sure you pull it. Can you do it? Oh, what was that? That was, <laughs> that was like one lame. of those like little like like squeaker farts. <laughs> you gotta rip that thing, man. You gotta get that suction. <laughs> that was a that was a weak. It was like a that, bloop. Goofed. that was a weak fart. Mm. <sighs> Here you weak go. fart. Weak pop. <laughs> All right, so we had a couple drinks before this. All right, so yeah, Prideful <laughs> Goat. This is MGP, right? Good. Thanks. Sourced. Uh, yeah. Well, 15 year is supposedly Heaven Hill. Heaven we don't Hill. Know, there's, I think there's an NDA. But the six years are, it says in the back, it's still in Indiana. Uh-huh. So, so that, that is MGP. Believe it is MGP's finest. All right. So Prideful Goat, I the cask strength rye. Um, Kevin and I both, we got bottles of it. And Shout out Sealbacks. Shout out Sealbacks. If you can order or seal online. Box. I don't know how seal you say box. it. Box. It might be box or backs. I think it's box because it's C-H. Like the the, You're the European here, <laughs> so um, shout out Chico Seal Box. Um, but yeah, you can order it online. I don't know if they have any of this. Stuff I think it's there. sold out. No, the fifteen year definitely not. But the cash strength rye is this is a I think delicious. That sold out when we got it ASAP, oh, pretty, did it? pretty quickly. Uh, we bought it. It's a delicious cash strength rye. Um, as you can see, I've been doing a, a good amount on that bottle. It's really delicious. Um, coming in at one hundred eighteen point four percent, one hundred eighteen point four proof. Uh, six year age rye. It's a MGP ninety five. 95% rye, 5% malted barley. That is their classic mash bill for their ryes. Um, and delicious. Uh, we're going to get into these. We'll do uh, little pours. Maybe we'll start with the rye since we... It's a little different, right? So yeah, let's, a little let's different. The and then we'll, we have the six-year, and we also have the 15-year. And the 15-year is rumored to be Heaven Hill Distillate, which we now know because of... Our collaboration with nice. West Ice of Wines and Liquors, they recently did a barrel pick of Ezra Brooks, which mm-hmm. is underneath MGP. The barrels Those that stamped. were given to us are stamped from Heaven Hill. So we do know that MGP does source some of their stuff from Heaven Hill. And you know what's funny? So we, we did the Penelope video, and they yeah. said, we have a 20-year corn whiskey that might be coming out. That's from, from an, an unknown unlike, source. An unlikely so source. I think that source is... If it's unlikely, it's definitely not MGP because they source all their stuff from Correct. MGP. I think that MGP probably had some old stock of Heaven Hill corn whiskey that they probably found in the back of the warehouse. Yes. That Penelope got a hold of, and now they're going to bottle it up, and it's going to be delicious. Yes. I think, uh, th- I think that's uh, – I'm really hoping that they bring a corn whiskey to the, to the because table. Because that would just destroy anybody who bought the 20-year – Heaven Hill. Heaven Hill corn whiskey <laughs> that paid about $1,000 for it. Wow. And make them cry. That, <laughs> nope, he's releasing the same the exact same. thing, just with a different yeah. logo on it. Yeah. For like half, half, a third, a quarter. Who, who knows? knows? They Well, rumor is they may distill it or finish it in different barrels. Ooh. Rumor. we Popcorn barrel? No. Corn? Tequila. And butter? Ooh. Tequila. Butter? Tequila. No, no, no. Oh. Tequila barrel finished corn no, no, whiskey. No. Come on, dude. Butter Little barrel. Masa. We got some tortillas. No, no. Butter it's barrel finished days. corn whiskey. Make popcorn in a glass. It could work. Put that up against mellow corn. See who wins. Oh, I Don't love some ever corn. talk about mellow corn. <laughs> Do like not that disrespect the corn ever again. <laughs> we had some floating around right here there. still. It yeah. was. I yeah, I love that bottle. Uh, it's, <laughs> is it unopened? That yeah. one is unopened. Yes. All right. So yeah, uh, prideful goat. Good this is their right six year rye floral. Delicious citrus. I feel like should we have our sheet? Nah, I didn't print them out. We can't do that. It's like going against Pete. Yeah, I know. That's like a group thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, But yeah, we're just going to talk about these. I work so hard for this piece of paper and you're not using it. (laughs) He doesn't sound like that. He doesn't sound like that. It would be be more angry. And if yeah, if Pete was here right now, he'd throat punch you. Just like, ah! yeah. Uh, he's so he's gonna be so angry <laughs> watching this. Yeah, 
If he even watches it, I don't know if he likes our content. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, all right. It's, a, it's we'll got a great out. nose. Oh yeah. The this MGP Rise are some of my favorites. I think they're just so it's just consistent mm, mm. and delicious. You know, I think what you said before, it's a good idea. What was those three? Yeah. Prideful goat. That is that is stellar. That Prideful is goat, really, really old Ezra good. and Mick and uh Willet. You know what that reminds Seven me of? Years. That reminds me of a Michter's 10 year rye, but with a little bit more bite on it. Yeah, and it's what, so we got this good. Six, $69, wow. right? I think it was a little less than that. I think it was like $69 to your door. Right, to your door. We got that, and we got some of the uh, 13th Colony yeah. in the same shipment, which is. That is damn good. So I'm not as familiar with rye. Yeah. So. Welcome to the new world. To me, so, it just tastes like. All the other rides. That <laughs> no, so, no, so for a rye to be a rye, it has to be at least 51% rye in the mash bill. Right. Yeah. This is 95% rye. Normally when you have high rise or so like a higher bourbon, content yeah. rise, mm. you get a lot more of the floral, vegetal, like minty flavor. Okay. And you don't have a lot of the other flavors. But this, I think, does a really good job. It's a 95. Is it a 95? It's a 95. Five, yeah. But 95. Five, but I don't just get straight mint. I get other things behind it. I get citrus. I get, you know. There's a little spiciness. A little spice it's it's a di- it. yeah. it's it so obviously it drinks like a whiskey. A drinks, right. you know. Right. But I think if so, if somebody's out there and they're looking to mm-hmm. get into maybe trying some different rye, mm-hmm. this bottle is absolutely I like, had this, this was like an Nate. easy drinker to mm-hmm. get into cask strength rise. Um there's so I think Michter's is probably one of the best rise out there, but Obviously, that's 2022 though. Because you know, apparently the 20. No, I'm just saying, like, like even they're just like their regular like standard, rye, yeah, yeah, their sure. standard off rye. Also, yeah. It's a really good. They make rye. good rye. Yeah, yeah. They make good rye. So rye was uh, originally is the the whiskey of New York. So as a really? as a New Yorker, we we need to be drinking more oh, wow. whiskey. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's that's high brow stuff. Yeah, that's high brow stuff. So a little bit of history here. Um, but yeah, that's Rye County, New York. Ah, okay. And that's all coming together, right? Oh. So, and the Manhattan cocktail, the main ingredient is rye, right. not bourbon. Right. And, and the reason why is, I like rye in my old fashioned because they provide a little bit more depth, more spice, depth of flavor. Yeah, spice, a little bit more of like you get floral in it, incorporated it on top yeah. of the other stuff that's yeah. going on. Now, this is just like this is really good cherry sweetness. So, cherry, this, by the way, makes an incredible Manhattan. Um, I know people are going to be. Great mouthfeel. Listen, if you're going to be making finish. cocktails, good still going products make better cocktails. So you put garbage in, you're getting oh, garbage man. out. If you put good, co- I'm giving myself in the butt because I didn't get this. I got this one. So where are we at price point with that? Uh, sixty nine dollars. Well, so, yeah, to your door. That's your shipping door. tax. Yep. That was sixty nine delivered. Yep. Okay. From Sealbox, which yeah. is awesome. You can order online. They have a ton of stuff that, up there as well, not just bourbons and rice. Also, um, join their email list because they'll send you notifications. Some of their stuff that they put up because they do. I think they only do MSRP pricing. I'm not really sure. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's pretty close. It they sell out within seconds. I'm in the works of getting uh, hooked up with them for a promo code. Just so Ooh, you know. nice. Uh, but they'll send they'll send out emails like, oh, did you miss our last week's or last? Batch of Nulu, whatever, mm-hmm. or a last batch of whatever. It's coming up again this weekend. Like, set your yeah. calendar. And, like, I normally, sometimes I can't keep up to date with all the stuff that I'm going through within my head. And, like, that little reminder, I'll set a little uh, yeah. thing on set my phone. Set your calendar. And it's like, yeah. get it. Yeah. It's a, it's a really awesome ride. And, like, it, now, it's, look at the legs. You know, like, it's 118 proof, but it really, it's a sweet, it's simple. Yeah. Like, you could sit That's there delicious. and sip on this delicious pour. Um, Prideful Goat. So this is Bourbon Real Talk. Bourbon Real Talk. It was a an OG YouTuber. And who's Whiskey Pete? That's uh, not our Pete. No. No, he seems mm. le- a lot less angry. Yeah. <laughs> he's got like a lot more approachable. He's got a beard. <laughs> <laughs> approachable Pete. Approachable Pete. Uh, Sorry. Uh, that one hit, hit a nerve. Yeah, he's gonna murder us all. Just <laughs> yep. yep. We're not gonna be here for um, this episode. Yeah, so they eventually they you know. <clears throat> YouTube fame, and then started sourcing their own whiskeys, and now they have these awesome offerings. But this is what we talked about in a previous video. Like the price point is is right for a cash strength 
six year MGP or whatever it is. Yeah. It's, you know, whatever. That's fine. Yes. But I'm not, I don't want to pay 90 bucks or right. $100 or whatever it is for a four year MGP. And I don't know the company. Right. So, yeah. So, this is what I was going to ask about yeah. Rise. Is the same way? Is there a finishing aspect to it? Because mm-hmm. now, so it's MS, it's a uh, MGP. MGP. MSG. Yeah, MSG. <laughs> MSG. That's good stuff. Madison too, Square Garden. Yeah, yeah. Or the stuff they or, put in Chinese. Food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good stuff too. Though. It's I'm, great seasoning, by the way. It's just salt. great umami flavor. <laughs> stop stop. Add, stop sleeping on MSG. Stop crying Add it about it. To your MSG. steaks. It's yes. delicious. All right. Wow. Yeah. Is it just salt? It's yeah. No, it's, mono, it's monosodium it's, glutamate. It's just <laughs> don't don't talk about MSG like that. The country of China will boycott us. No, you're allowed to talk about MSG. <laughs> you can't say it. Can't, can't say MSG. MSG. Can't, can't, say, can't China. say China. Can't say MSG. Can't say MSG. Uh, but no. So all I'm saying is that why is that different than anything else? It's the mash bill, right? Right. So this is 95% rye. So this can't be called a bourbon. Now, a bourbon has to be 51% corn. Yes. So to minimum. be a rye, you need 51% rye. rye as your main grain in your mash bill. So remember Penelope when we talked about a four grain? Yeah. So there's barley. Right. There's... Uh, Barley, wheat, wheat, rye, rye, and corn. corn. So those are the the four. You could probably do rice. I don't. Know. Yeah. There's other you grains. Can, yes. There's other grains you yeah, can yeah, use, yeah. but for it to be called bourbon, it needs to be 51 percent corn. Right. For it to right. be called rye, it needs to be 51 percent rye. Okay. There's some high rye bourbons. Yeah. Which means it's 51 percent corn and, and like higher rye and content, like 30 like or 40 percent right. rye. Right. The rye normally impacts like a, a floral <laughs> vegetal note. That you know a, a brightness to it, yeah. That sometimes can go overboard, and it tastes like you're sucking on celery or yeah, on yeah. You get this really mint, like vegetal, really minty. minty. Right. I've had some really bad rye's where What's it's the one like recently. There was one recently. I gave one to Rich and Rob that I was like, I cannot drink this. This is what was so, that? Oh, we were there so for that. Yeah. Bad. No, no, that was no, that was a that was a a dickel the, bourbon. Oh, the vitamins, right? the vitamins, yeah, yeah. Uh, Flintstone vitamins. It was yeah. the worst. No, but there was another I could, bottle it was a drain that pour. I remember you like we we tried it. We we're like, oh, it's like it's like freaking like crushing up fresh mint, and just which is delicious, but like sucking, sucking on, on it. Mint. That's it with water. Yeah, uh, I forgot which one mm. was that. I don't know. I, can't I gave remember. it so. They have a, a box in the back, and they do, like, a, a fundraiser event. And yes. at the fundraiser event, they make, like... Yeah, little, Rich just makes, yeah, like, he, jungle he makes, juice. He made, no, he makes, like, little, <laughs> little uh, Manhattans. Cocktails, yep. or, but, like, a Manhattan. You can yeah. do whatever you want with it. Right. You're putting so syrup and like, bitters and whatever. He gives it to one For guy who's, like, here's all the bad whiskey we've had this year. Yeah. And they blend it together, and they make, like, cocktails, and they serve it at the fundraiser. Yeah. And sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's not, because, yeah. you know, the product that you're putting into it. But I, what did I get him? I forgot rye, what that it was, was. A really bad rye. Um, it was so minty that I was like, yeah. I can't, I can't even put this in a cocktail because like I can't hide this mint flavor. I remember, I, I like, I remember this conversation. Mm. I don't. Should, remember I, should what we call? It was. <laughs> hey, Rich, was you're calling the show? All right, so good content. So yeah, <laughs> um, good content. Rye right. is it's a different it's a different style of whiskey. Yeah. It's a different flavor profile. You get a little bit of uh, spicier, yeah. different type of of notes. I hate um, bad rye. So I think bourbon itself mm-hmm. has a ceiling, right? It can only be like, I mean, I'm just this is how I justify it in my mind. Okay. So bourbon itself, and it's completely wrong, but <laughs> this is how I justify it. Right. So bourbon itself has a ceiling on how good it can be because it's bourbon. But it doesn't really have a floor because, like, even bad bourbon, you can do something with it. Right. It's going to be okay. Yes. Bad rye is a drain pour. Yes. Horrible, horrible drain There's, pour. like, no redeeming there's value. Like, it, there's nothing you can do with that. Right. Like, it's it tastes like fucking celery. Yeah. Like, or mint. Or, like, you can't, like, you put it in a cocktail, you mix it with something, you're just going to get, sh- unless you like that. Like, I hate celery. Most disgusting. Brussels sprouts. So is that, why you, is that why you don't like barrel seagrass? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started. Don't get me started. But I feel like really good rye yes. has no ceiling because you're adding a layer of complexity Yeah, to like that. one of the bottles up uh, above our head right now, uh, which Jackie oh. should probably try, is the Sagamore, okay. the Hopefully Double Oak. Yeah. Is incredible, incredible. rye. Incredible. Incredible, incredible. <laughs> but so I actually had this conversation with Sa- Nate. Shout out Sagamore Spirits. I had this conversation with Nate, the everyday drinker on YouTube. Yeah. Shout out Nate. Shout out Nate again. And he's like, I don't really like, I don't like rye. I'm not, I'm not into rye. I'm like, try Sagamore I was Spirits. A, no, <laughs> no. So I actually sent him something better. 
I was like, I'm gonna send you because he wanted to. He wanted some samples of Penelope, so I was like, I have them all. I'll, mm-hmm. s- I'll send you some samples. Oh, of the Penelope. Tokai. Yeah, the Tokai, and I think the American Light. <laughs> yeah. So he's like, I don't really like rye. I was like, I had the same exact problem for a long time. I didn't like rye, but I realized I don't like bad, bad rye. rye. Yes, I like really good rye, right. like the Michter's rye, the Ezra Brooks seven year rye, sack anything sack more. Ezra- yeah. yeah, monster oh, rye. Right. So right. I I this sent him Thomas like, Handy. Yeah. yeah. So that. That's what I sent them. Yeah. So I was like, you don't like rye. So let me send you my favorite rye. rye of all time, right. which is the 2022 Thomas Handy rye. That bottle. I, that bottle, the, the layers of flavor and complexity in that, mm. I think beats the 2020, maybe not the 2022 George T, but the one we tried was yes. the 2020. Yeah, we did the Handy, oh, we yeah. did the Stag. Like- and I prefer, I prefer, eh, I prefer. 2022 Thomas Handy over a 2020 George C. Stat. I think we I, all did. I think yeah. we all did. And the reason for that is to the me, layers, like, right? are, yeah, the layers. They're both cash strength. All right, They're bourbon. Both. It's bourbon, right? Like, it's it's really good. It's cash yeah, strength. Yeah. There's a lot of flavor. It smells like horse shit. You know, <laughs> yeah, manure. <laughs> Shout out manure. Um, you know that that like it, we. I think, like you said, it has a ceiling. Yeah, it, like as Obviously, good as it can it's be, very, very good. It, it, it's as good but as it can be. But once you start getting to but that, like even like, bad bourbon, five, six hundred, seven hundred dollar range, it's like you want complexity. You want like I want layer to after layer. Like I, the feet. finish is amazing. Yeah. You're getting this note after this note after this note. And you're actually tasting yeah. it. I want I want my socks rocked. Yeah, I want to be wine dined sixty nine <laughs> and take it to bed. <laughs> Like, yeah. you know, like that's like when you're paying that much for a bottle yeah. or that much for a pour, if you're out at a local bar or restaurant, like you want that, like, oh my God, experience. Like but that's another good thing. And too, that's what the like, did, look, like, look, like, just, look at what's Kevin, right? The guy who's bourbon saying, notes. Yeah. Bourbon yeah. notes. He loves li- purple tops, right? Right. <laughs> he loves those. But those, some of those bottles have a cult following. Like right. a pen, some people specifically hunt out like certain barrels because they're, that good right and like they'll they'll go like there's a huge disparity on price range between like a purple top right and a green top right of the same year yeah but the reason why is some of those purple tops are people have found and they've tried them they're like out of this world yes and like you just need to get them yeah and like we recently opened up the uh, the will at seven year and like that is just like it's very good it's really good it's really good, and even the uh, the old Kirk single barrel, which oh, is man. Willet Distillate, like that was absolutely Phenomenal. incredible. So Phenomenal. there's there's something there, like but even like a ten year, like the pappies we've had, like right, mm-hmm. we don't want to talk about just straight pappies, but like there's something to be said that every bottle of pappy that you're getting is going to be phenomenal. Right. They're honey picked. They're amazing every single time. If you don't enjoy a bottle of pappy. 10, 12, whatever. So then that's, you know, if you prefer Eagle Rare yeah. over straight Pappy 10, if you or like buff, regular Trophy trace, trays, then that's a problem with your palate because <laughs> there is a significant disparity between, you even have, if they were the same proof or whatever. Like right. if you take a Weller 12 and a Lot B, like there is some time, I don't, I don't think you're going to be able to, I can't wait to open my Lot B. Yeah, gonna you're going to be able to side. tell right away because <laughs> I've had both. Right. You're going to be able to tell right away which one's a Lot B and which one's a Weller 12. Right, right off the top of your head, yeah. off, the, off the first note. Yeah. Because they are like so different. Well, it's just, it's the same thing as having a, a, a regular bottle from Russell's and mm-hmm. a store pick from Russell's. Mm-hmm. It's just like amplified that much more. It's it's yeah. hand selected. It's like the 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 cream of the crop from the Rick House hand selected. Well, that also depends too because yeah. some of the new store pick taxi th- th- yeah. yes. tactics that they're doing is you're not like Maker's Mark. Apparently, when you do a store pick with them, you do everything from beginning right. to end. Yes, and. That's your barrel. And there's a very low chance because of all the stays and stuff that you're adding right. to it. It's, that anybody's ever going to do that again. Right. But companies like Russell's or Old Forest. I mean, I don't even know. I, I can't talk Old yeah. Forest. Cut that out. <laughs> so companies like Russell's and like, what's another one that we just recently did? Uh, we did Elijah Craig. We've done. Oh, Elijah Craig. That's another yeah. good one. Yeah. 
they're not letting you hand pick the barrel. They're right. giving you they're giving four you, samples right. and saying, pick one of these four samples as your store pick. Right. So now you as a store owner are going to say, this is a good one because of X, Y, and Z. Well, That's my barrel. Oh, even with the, the blue note we recently did. Or the blue note. Yeah, exactly. It's a good, a well, we good couldn't one. decide between one or the other, and then they were able to split two mm-hmm. barrels between their store. Um, but but yeah. again, that's, you're not really fully picking the barrel. That's just, right. It's just, like you get four op- four options. Yeah, here's your And f- that's if the distributor likes you because right. the distributor might go up to X store, give them seven samples. Right. They turn away six of them. And right. now he comes to you and says, here's, here's six, your six. Here's your six. Pick one of right. these. And then they only pick one. And then he takes those five and then goes. So by the time it goes to the low man on the totem pole, they get two options and that's right. their store pick, right? Yeah. And, but they don't know the other amazing barrels that were picked before. But I think we went off on a tangent there. Yeah, we did. But I think <laughs> it's okay. I think good rye does is is yeah leaps and bounds over some bourbons of the same price range. Yes. But I think bad rye you can't drink. I am with be, you on that. Like it's gonna be even bad bourbon, butt and it, that's it. Even bad bourbon, you throw that's an right. ice cube in it and sit around a campfire, and you're like, all right, cool. Throw a maraschino cherry in it. Yeah, yeah. make a, a cocktail. A little, little bit of it. cherry juice. But bad <laughs> rye is it almost stands out. It's almost undrinkable. Yeah. It's like it's just yeah. So, but this that's amazing rye. It's really it's really, really good rye. rye. I yep. love this. I I'm gonna actually get a bottle of this before I go home. Find somehow I'll figure it out. But that's amazing. <laughs> like today, like, right now, right now, I will get it. <laughs> Kevin live streams buying bourbon on secondary. All right, that'd be great. So I think all the liquor stores are closed. Um, uh, yeah, but no, it's a really good bottle. Um, Speaking I think up. that that six seven year for rye is like the sweet spot in my opinion. Um, and then as you get into the older rye, like that's where like all that flavors is gonna be super super concentrated. That's what you see in the the, the BTAC collection, the Thomas Handy. It's a it's an incredible like and the uh, the Willets they're known for their like the spicy cinnamon it's so red good. hot like yeah. that concentrated flavor. Um, but yeah, I'm with you, man. There's good rye, and then there's really really bad rye, and then there's insanely incredible rye. Um, so the there is I feel like there's no there's no ceiling, but there's definitely a floor. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's the basement and then the cellar and then there's the sewer. There's the sink. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> now let's, let's get on to this. All right. The next bottle, which is the Prideful Goat six year straight bourbon whiskey, unfiltered cask strength coming in at 114.8. This mash bill is 75% corn. This is a high rye, 21% rye and 4% malted barley. So as we you know, come full circle and, and talk about all this stuff. Um, so yeah, six year age bourbon. On the nose. Cherry. Yeah. Definitely cherry. Definitely cherry, right? And you get a little spiciness to it. Because the yeah. cast strength is gonna the higher proof is gonna pop up a little bit more, but uh definitely with that that rice citrus. Spice. You drink so you don't like you don't like try to get notes out of it, you just cherry. Knock it back. What do you mean? Like you don't like try to like I let my palate do a lot of the work. So like my nose is one thing, but like I'm a I'm a I'm a chef or was a chef and now coffee roaster. Still but a chef, I think they still count. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I feel like you're still a chef. I, I'm still a <laughs> chef, right? Well, to me, chef is a title right. that you hold. Um, uh, so I'm currently not a an enlisted chef. <laughs> I mean, you're blending, you're, yeah. you're shifting, it, shifting it up right, right there. You're right. I'm coffee. doing it. Do, do you're just doing it with now. beans. Different medium. I'm, a, I'm still an artist, but I'm using a different medium now. So um, I like I rely on my palate a lot for for tasting. Nose is like uh, obviously is ethanol, <laughs> you know. No cherry, definitely. Cherry is spice. I get a little bit of bright citrus. I I get the citrus on that, but yeah, I go in for the taste, man. I'm all about a taste, and it's not like a like a. a I feel like I'm getting like a bright cherry, almost like a, like a, like a candy cherry, not like a, a dark maraschino or like a medicinal. I'm getting like a yeah a bright cherry, like Ooh, almost like yeah. a, a candy. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting, and then on the taste that that finish that chocolatey brown sugar, um, spice like spice is, is nice. Is there like a good amount of barley? Because I'm getting a little bit of like. It's, it's got a roasty, yeah. It's like four four percent barley, twenty percent 
21% rye and 75% corn. So you get that sweetness. I'm definitely getting some of that spice, rye. Like that but that more... brightness and that floral are coming through with that cherry. Yeah. But definitely like that that barley, it's giving it like a like a like you said, like a, a toasty little, like a little toasty bready. It's nice. That. That's a, that's a nice bourbon. <laughs> so <Great>. spoiler alert. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Great finish. Yeah. Great. It's still going. Yeah. It's hanging around. It's it's and it's there. not like one of those where it's like you try it and you instantly have heartburn. It's very good finish. You said you prefer the rye though. I think I prefer the rye, yeah. Yeah, I think I do too. I think I do too, but like that is not a that's bad that's great. Yeah, that's yeah. that's really good. If I got both of these products at the price that we paid, I don't think I'd be upset. Spoiler alert. I think I like the six year better than the fifteen. That's a spoiler alert. That's a spoiler alert. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> um, we gotta try it. Yeah, we gotta go into the fifteen. So now, six year bourbon. Now we're going into the fifteen year bourbon. This cu- this is a crazy mash bill because it's like percentages and stuff. We gotta do fractions, and numbers. It has a great nose though. Yeah, it does. Uh, seventy eight point five percent corn. 13% rye, 8.5% malted barley, 114.1 proof. It's kind of like cake batter. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> so, oaky. I get oaky. It, now that it's opened up a little bit, yeah. it, it's nosing a lot a lot better. It needed Ooh, it needed so to open up. It needed to open up. Um, it's interesting. Yeah, now it's it's that's a great nose. Yeah, it's better now than that first initial pour. I just did that's before a, we. That's an amazing nose. That's not a great started. nose. That's like, that's really, really. That's a really good nose. This is gonna be one of those. Uh, leave it in the glass, let it linger, yeah. come back to it, and keep smelling it. Uh, again, that's again the citrus is coming through. Yeah, that's it's a higher <laughs> eye mash bill. Um, the cherry, not so much. I'm getting more oranges on this. Burnt orange, little, little not burnt orange, just like regular orange. No, like, burnt. Like it's a, gotta be burnt. Like a tangerine, like <laughs> I can see tangerine. Like flamed citrus peel. No. Mm. Yes, when you express your citrus peel over a cocktail, and you just go with a little flame, and you get the definitely some floral, like some grassy notes coming through with that. Flintstone vitamins. No, no. not at all. <laughs> a little bit of honey, man. I that's... like this better than the six year. That's my favorite out of the bunch. Yeah. I'm not going <laughs> to. It opened up a lot more. Yeah. Um, Man. Yeah. That is phenomenal. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's a good pour. All right. Price on this one? I want to say 185 Whew. On the 15 year? On the 15 year. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So that's, that's, <clears throat> that's on the higher side. That's retail or that's. I think that's retail. Okay. Yeah, MSRP mm. versus retail versus so, secondary versus so M- well, weird. MSRP is one eighty five. Okay, so I think oh. it's meant to hit the shelves at one eighty five. One eighty five. Okay, so that's, a, I that's think, a pricey bottle. I think I'm not sure. Yeah, but again, you're fifteen year age. So the entry, the um going rate or like the value buy for anything over ten years is you're paying ten dollars per age, right? Right. So at one hundred and fifty dollars, which I think. This is not in New York, first of all. So this is you can't get this in New York because it's not distributed in New York. This what was else found is in there? Florida, <laughs> and I think it was at yeah. a total wine for yeah. one eighty five or one ninety. Yeah, Plus which tab. total wine is usually pretty yeah, close pretty to good. MSRP. But one eighty five, one ninety. Yeah, and and that's them jacking. You know, they, that's their. Yeah, they gotta they gotta make, make a little, a little bit, bit yeah. a little bit of wiggle room on there. Some stores, if you know. I've walked into some stores where I see some bottles on the shelves, and I can tell that they're older bottles that haven't moved. Right. Don't cut back on 10%, right. 15%, because, yeah. you know, they know what their cost is. But I think at 185 185 out the door, that's For phenomenal. a 15-year age that's bourbon. That's phenomenal. That's, I mean, yeah. Well, this bottle definitely needed to open up a little bit. More. This is insane. This, this is, is the 15-year is, is absolutely delicious. You know, just, like Elijah Craig 18, right? More expensive, right? More brand power, mm-hmm. watered down more. Mm-hmm. Doesn't taste anywhere near as good as this. Now, both heaven hill, both heaven hill. And so, this was proof down higher in the Rick House. You get more evaporation. That's how, like, you get those super like, numbers, the, yeah. the high octane mm-hmm. hazmat. But it also depends on the mash bill, mm. depends on initially what's going into it. So, I think there's a lot to go there into might it. Be something to that. Um, interesting because, like, because there's I and mean, that's also. 
what that's heaven hill now. The terminology I'd assume of this, cash strength means it was what, what it went, went into. This is how it came out. And this is how it came out of the barrel, ready to go. Foolproof means that it watered it back it down. Went in at, it went in at a number. It sat in age and in, proofed down, and then they proofed it back up to the entry proof that it went into the barrel. So hypothetically, well, they're full proof. It's 114 proof. Probably went in at 114. It goes in at 114. It came out 120. And then, and then they proofed, proofed it back down, back to, 114. down to 120. Or whatever. Or 114. Whatever the hell it was, yeah. Yeah. So, man, interesting. So, yeah. Uh, Delicious. I think. What are we doing here? Order <laughs> now. Order. I will go like this. Yeah, yeah. If you had to rank them. Best to worst. Best yeah. second bet. Yeah. Best. And it's not even worse. It's. Rivers. Yeah, it's best. They're all very good. They're all, I would be happy. Yeah. These two at $69 delivered to your door. Beautiful. Great price. Yeah. You can do some crazy Six stuff year with Six-year-age, catch strength bourbon, delicious. This is special. I think, and maybe I didn't try it before it opened up. So I don't know what you tasted beforehand, but that has a good it layer was, of complexity. It was just like, it It didn't hit. Um, so the first initial pour of it, right out of the bottle, legs, it just, man. it needed to open up. Can the um, camera pick that up? Like I'm sure yeah, it could. A little bit. It could that's got pick some, up our, my smudge stains. That's all got the some legs to that. Yeah, like that is it's, pretty. This, this this has completely changed my mind in the half an hour that we've been sitting here. Um, the initial taste of it versus now, it's night and day. Um, it's got more of that complexity, that dark sweet. Yeah, dark sweet. Yeah, that's good. Like, I like that. dark. Yeah. Like it has that like the depth. The you know <clears throat> it's not just like hit you in the face with alcohol, hit you in the face of proof. There's there's depth to it. There's layers. There's brown sugar. There's this like this earthiness to it. Horse manure, delicious. Mm. Um, can't say, can't say manure. Um, yeah, it's a really good pour. So prideful goat. Um, if you're looking for an example of source whiskeys that are really good, let us know in the comment section. Have you tried prideful goat? If you have not, I should. I highly recommend.